What's up guys, MBK here, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over how to deal with Yuel. She's a pretty strong character. She's very good, very annoying, like this button right here. Like, you know, very annoying. This here, very annoying. So she's a little bit hard to deal with. She has a lot going on. And if you don't know the matchup, you're just gonna get completely run over by any good Yuel player. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to fight this character. So first things first, we're gonna be going over punishes. We're gonna be going over her plus frames because he has a lot of plus frames. I'm gonna go over what her real frame traps are involving this move because a lot of you wells do fake frame traps that are not real. So I'm gonna tell you what's real and what's fake. I'm gonna go over how to deal with the little flip mix between that version, the low version, the cancel. I have an OS to deal with most of those options. I'm gonna teach you how to deal with her wake up options because she has two wake ups. She has a DP like anyone else and she has an EX flip which is invincible on frame one. So I'm gonna teach you an OS that takes care of both options on their wake up. I wanna go over how to deal with the 236L on block. It's minus three, but it's kind of annoying where she puts you and she has the ability to cancel on the stance and whatnot. So I'm gonna teach you how to deal with that. I'm gonna give you the best options I can on counterplaying the far 5H. This move is kind of annoying, but I'm gonna teach you the best ways to deal with it. And then there's some general tips of how you should be fighting you well. And I'll have timestamps in the description for each of these parts. So if there's like one part of you all you're not really sure of and you just wanna get quick access to you can just skip that part because I do foresee this being a longer video so first things first punishes now you always love to do this move 236 which is this one here now 236L that is safe it's minus 3 and you know you can't get a punish but if they do the medium version, that is minus eight. So pretty much any 2M in the game should be able to punish it. And it's very easy to tell. Like the light version goes pretty quick and the medium version has a lot more hits. So it's very easy to visually see which one it is. And if anything, if you've got to practice it, just have the dummy do the light one and the medium one and just practice punishing it. All right, now 214M, that's her flip. The one that goes low, that one is minus and it's actually punishable. Now, if she does 214L, this one's actually plus, so don't press when she does that. But if she does 214M, that is minus. Now, I can go up to be minus seven, but they can space it to be safe. Like, if I get the right spacing, like, if it hits kind of like that, a little bit harder to punish, probably makes that, like, minus five, and you're too far away for a close five L. And it's the same with the enhanced version. Like, the enhanced version, you can let it be plus like this, or you can modify it to go low. The enhanced version, the only difference is when it goes low, it's minus six. Same thing though, it's punishable if she does it too close. If she spaces it right, then it's safe. All right, next thing is her stance. Now, most things in her stance are completely safe and are actually plus for that matter. The only one that's punishable is her 2H. Reason it's punishable makes sense. It's a full combo starter. It's minus 13. There's no mix up. As soon as she does a 2H, she immediately goes out of stance. You don't have to worry about no parry or nothing like that. So you can just go for a straight up punish. And the last punish is obviously her DP. You know, DP is obviously easy to punish, but her DP, it goes really high up. So if your character gets more anti-air damage than like a regular grounded combo, then make sure you optimize your punish. So I'm gonna use Yuel as an example. Like if she's in the corner like this, she doesn't get too much damage. She can't do all her cool follow-ups and whatnot. But if she punishes the DP, like while it's still in the air, she actually gets more damage. Now for your character, you have to see what's the best punish. And if you're a Lance player, please don't punish this DP with a full heavy auto combo in the medium Rekka. Tega will be very upset with you, my friend. So please make sure you do your full anti-air kind of combo because Lance can definitely do some pretty cool stuff. All right, so let's talk about our plus frames. Now she has a lot of plus frames, more than some other characters. Now, of course, like every character in this game, her close five L's plus, her 2Ls plus, and uniquely for her, her far 5Ls actually plus as well. So what that means is her far 5L and 2M that actually creates a frame trap, which is kind of crazy. A lot of characters don't actually have stuff like that. So you do gotta watch out for that. Now her Fox Flame, which is this move, now the light version, that's actually minus three. It can be used in frame traps and if it hits you on counter, it gets a combo. It's only plus one on regular hit, but on block it's minus three. Now the medium version, it's much slower, but that's actually plus five. And the enhanced version, that's plus one. Now for her flip, the 214L, that is plus, And I've already mentioned the 214M is minus. And of course the 214H is plus if they do this follow-up. If you do the low follow-up, then if they misspace it, you can get a punish. Now for her third dance, she has a lot of plus frames, only one that's minus, which is the 2H. That's actually the only one that you can just outright punish. 
everything else is either plus, even, but even though it's even, it might as well be plus. So what do I mean by that? So let's see what's plus first. The 2M, this is very plus. It is plus 2 on block, so you really can't do anything after that. Now for a 5M in this stance, this is actually zero. But even though it's zero, it's in your well's favor. Because her 5L, that comes out in five frames. But the thing is, after her 5M, the opponent is outside of close 5L range, meaning their five frame move won't actually come out. They'll get far 5L, which comes out in six, which means this will beat it. The only character that can clash is Belial because for some reason he has a five frame 2L. Don't ask me why, he does. So unless you're Belial, you're not gonna be able to beat this. This is something you have to hold. Now for the rest of the moves, the 5L, this is, you know, zero on block, but you can chain this so you can make it a frame trap. So even though it's, Minus, it might as well be plus. And then in this dance, a 2L that is minus 3, but it's mainly used just to like link this together if you get a combo or whatnot. So to be honest, her stance, like most of the time, you do have to respect her. Just remember, if they do the 2L, then yes, it's your turn, but just make sure you respond with the low because any high attack, she will be able to parry it because that's the thing with this dance. He parries all high attacks. She will not parry overhead, she will not parry lows, and she will not parry projectiles. So just keep that in mind. But just remember, if she's in this stance and then she does 5M, that goes over lows. And if it counter hits, then she can cancel and link into 2M and get a combo. So just keep that in mind. Like the thing with the stance is, most of the stuff she does is plus and most of the stuff, like you'd have to kind of respect it. Just know when to pick your moments and just try to get out of the situation. You know, if she dashes at you or anything like that, then you know you can press a button and stuff like that. So she does have a lot of plus frames. Just make sure you're aware of it just so you know when not to press a button because a lot of these, if she counter hits you, she can get you in a whole combo. Now let's talk about her foxtail. Now it's important to know when they do this, when it's actually a real frame trap. So I have the opponent do 5L as soon as they block something. So there's only three times you can actually frame trap with this. It's after a full auto combo, after 2H, and after close 5H. Any other time, if you're mashing buttons and she goes for this, doesn't matter which version of it, you will hit her out of it. So just to show you, off a full auto combo, if she does the light version, she will get a counter hit, and if it counter hits, it does combo. But the thing is, if she does the medium version of it, it will not combo. In fact, the medium version does not frame trap with anything. It would only work if you were put in a situation where you don't wanna push buttons, and then she can maybe get away with it, because that's actually really plus, it's plus five. But if you're mashing buttons, Buttons that will not hit you. Now with a full auto combo, if she does the enhanced version, you can actually match out of that. That's actually not a real frame trap. And just to show you, when you stop an auto combo short, you just do two hits. That does not frame trap. Doesn't matter which version you do, you can always press. The only way she can frame trap you from two hits of an auto combo is if she does two, three, six, M. But like I said before, that's actually very punishable, so it's not very smart for her to do. So like if you did stuff like this, Yes, that would frame trap you, but most good UELs won't do that. And don't worry about the 236 L because pretty much in any situation, it's a true block string. So like stuff like this, you can be mashing buttons and you'll still be able to block it. So to be honest, if you're fighting a UEL and you like to do like half an auto combo and try to go into something like this, I would just say mash 5L during the middle of an auto combo. And then when they get to the end of the auto combo, that's when I would stop pressing buttons in case they go for it. So you could just block the frame trap. And remember the only one that actually works is the light version of a full auto combo and that's minus three so you can take back your turn. Now for 2H, now 2H again frame traps with a light version of this and the enhanced version, it does not. And of course the medium version, it does not either. So it's only the light version. And the only one that frame traps with the EX Foxtail is close 5H. So this one will frame trap and of course they can do this version and it frame traps as well. But even this one does not frame trap with the medium one. The medium one really is that slow. So for this frame trap, just know of only the three situations, full auto combo, 2H, close 5H, then you have to hold the frame trap. But if you have a DP or SBA or stuff like that, you know, you can just super right through it. Now I wouldn't recommend just, you know, mashing DP or mashing super when you see one of these strings happen because you could actually get baited. Like you all can just run up, do close 5H. They don't gotta do nothing. They don't gotta press anything. Same thing with 2H. With 2H, they could actually do a backflip instead and they can keep themselves safe. So mashing DP is not the answer. You actually wanna react. So for this, you have to practice reacting. And the easiest way, you just have you well do two recordings. Have one, just do close 5H, 
and do nothing else and the other one close 5h into the ex one and all you do is you just record those two options you set it to random and you just practice either reacting with sba or dp or whatever and just try not to dp when she does nothing just actually try to react to the fox flame part and this is really important in clutch moments because you can have an ssba ready you see that and you can freaking close out the round so it's very important to know this So if you got a DP or you got your SBA ready, just make sure you do that. Now you have to practice it. You're not just gonna go into a match and just react like that. You have to actually go into practice and practice reacting and that actually makes your reactions better. Or at least for this particular situation, it'll make your reactions pretty good for it. Now for the next part is how to deal with her flip. More when they're trying to use it in pressure. So let's say they're doing pressure or whatever, then they're like, oh, you know what, let me just go for a flip. They try to go for free plus frames. They can mix it up. They can try going low or they can back up and they can cancel they can do this charge at certain spacings it makes themselves plus so i forgot to mention in the plus frames so this is sometimes plus and sometimes punishable depending on the spacing like if you do it from here it's going to be unsafe you do it from like back here that's very safe i think that's plus from that range and if you charge it it like makes it more likely to be plus like right there is plus and you actually can't press anything so you just gotta see the spacing and kind of test it out. But anyway, the point is you have to deal with all those various type of mix-ups and you gotta be like, okay, what can I do? Now, not every character can OS it so nicely. So I'm gonna switch over to Jita and show you the OS I found for her. And I know many other characters have a similar thing you can do. All right, so for you all, I'm gonna have her do four different things. I'm gonna have her do this version of the backflip, have her do the low one, have her cancel and immediately charge forward. Then I'm gonna have her backflip cancel and then go into a far 5m as quickly as possible now the reason i'm doing all four is you want to see for your character is there a button you can press that beats the low slide the upward flip thing and recovers fast enough to not get punished by the other follow-ups either her canceling back and doing far 5m or canceling back and doing the little charge thing now for Jita, if i time the far 5h properly i could punish both versions of the advancing flip whether she goes low or high problem is if you well does a flip cancel into the little charge version or the 5h of the stance then i actually get hit so for Jita, what i have to do i have to do far 5m now i have to time it very specifically if i do it too early then i get low profile by the low now some characters like Luwayne, they really can't do that they have a button that beats the high version of the flip and a button that beats a low version like if i'm playing jita and if i do 2m 2m would beat you well if she does the low version of the flip but if she does the one that makes her plus she actually goes over my 2m and i completely whiff and some other characters have that kind of issue so you have to find what your best button is if you don't really have a good button that covers everything you can try neutral jumping you won't always get to punish but she's not going to be able to punish you for neutral jumping if you do it fast enough so let me show you how this os works i'm going to have you all be randomized for all the options and i'm going to do far 5m and it's going to cover every single one So that's pretty much how it works and it's actually a little bit hard to do because like with my far 5m if i do it too early then i don't hit the upward flip if i do it too late then the charging attack actually punishes me and if you have a dp you could actually react to the charging attack so it actually covers a lot of options now personally i want to practice it a little bit more because i want to practice like if you will actually whiff a far 5m i want to practice being able to whiff punish that as well but if your character has a button that can cover all these options then that's really good now your other option of course like i said you can neutral jump and that works too but you won't always get the punish so if you don't have a button that can contest all those options then you can either make the read of which one she's gonna do if she's gonna do like a low or high one just press your button that you can try neutral jumping now you won't always get the punish and if you don't neutral jump as soon as you see the flip and you're a little bit late when she flips back she can cancel the stance do a dash forward and do a 2h and actually punish your jump 
if you do it a little bit too slow. Like if you do it fast enough, she won't get to you in time to punish you, but she can make herself plus because you did waste a lot of frames jumping up. But just see with your character, see if you have something that can beat all those options. And if you do, then you're set and just practice the OS and just practice reacting. Now this next thing I wanna show you is useful across all characters that you go against that have a DP. Because right now, all DPs are nine frames. So what I'm gonna show you is how to do a safe jab so it would beat the opponent if they wake up button. It will allow you to block a DP, of course, block any kind of SBA, SSBA. And I'm gonna add an OS on top of that to actually punish the backflip on wake up. Since she has two wake up reversals she can do. The first things first, you gotta practice the safe jab. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna knock down you well. I'm gonna jab at just the right timing to where if you will wakes up buttons, she will get hit. And if she wakes up with DP, you'll be able to block it. Just so you know, to practice that really easily, you go to counter attack settings, you go to counter on wake up, and you have like a bunch of actions you can put. Here I'm putting the DP, and then here I'm gonna wake up close five L. That's the fastest one. You set the counter on wake up to random, and then there you go, you can practice it. If you get your safe jab correctly, you'll be able to block the DP and hit them if they got buttons. And once you get the hang of that, then you can add the next part of the OS. What do you do if she does EX flip? Now it's invincible from frame one to like 14, but you can still hit her before she flips all the way back. So this OS, right, you know, you're doing close 5L and you saw with Jita, I was doing a frame chop with 5M afterwards. Now for Jita, that works great because her close 5L, it combos into her close 5M, no problem. And if she does the back flip, what comes out is far 5L, and the far 5L will hit the backflip and can actually confirm that for a combo. So just to show you how it looks, I just have her to wake up backflip. I do a meaty jab, frame trap, oh look, I get a hit, and I can confirm that to a combo, and actually from that range, I can actually get a full EX corner combo from that. So it's a great OS to cover all three options, and let me show you how it looks. So once you master that, you pretty much force the Evolve player and they have to block your initial meaty because they don't have options. They do the backflip, you're gonna get a punish on them. They do a DP, they're gonna get a big punish on them. They mash buttons, you're gonna get a punish on them. So if you master that correctly, you pretty much force them to block, which means you open up grabs and all those other kind of mix-ups. Now, of course, the UL doesn't have to do a backflip on wake up. They can do it in the middle of your block string. Now, if they do it in the middle of your block string, like for example, with Jita, a common frame trap I do, I do 2L, 2L, 2M. If they do it as I'm doing a 2M, at that point, there's really not much you can do about it because you're wasting frames during the 2M. So the initial OS I taught you how to deal with the flip, it doesn't really work. That only works if you're blocking stuff that Yoel is doing and Yoel tries to do a backflip to get free plus frames and stuff like that. And since at that point you're not pressing anything, you haven't committed to anything, you're not wasting frames doing anything, you're able to do that OS and you can handle it. But if you're whiffing a button, if they backflip at the right time, at that point, you really can't do that OS because if you try to press far 5M with Jita at that point, you know, you're already kind of late. Maybe you'll be able to hit the follow-up of the flip, but if they cancel it, they'll very easily be able to whiff punish you because you didn't get to time it just perfectly. So my advice is if they backflip while you're whiffing a button, I think your best bet will be to back up if you have a DP, just to try to react to any kind of follow-up. Or you can just try to back up, jump back, just to create some space just so she doesn't do anything that makes herself plus on you and then getting more free pressure or anything like that. You want to avoid her getting more pressure as much as possible. So if you have a DP, just try to react to any kind of flip follow-up with a DP. But one thing you can do to combat stuff like that is just to do DP safe string. Now what are DP safe strings? DP safe strings are basically anything that's a true block string. And what a true block string is, is like no matter what you do, if you start blocking, you are forced to block the rest of it. So for Jita, for example, she can do 2L, 2L. If she does it fast enough, she can chain it to be a true block string and most characters have a similar thing. When you do a DP safe true block string that's a low, if they try to input DP 
or input backflip for that matter, they're not blocking low anymore, which means they're gonna get hit and then you're gonna get a combo. So if you think they're gonna try to backflip like that, you can try doing string like that. Now, of course, there's like limits to it. And you can also, for example, bait it. Like Jita can only really connect two two L's at once. He does a third one and the third one whiffs. So let's say you're a Jita player and you see like, oh, okay, he likes to backflip when I'm doing the two M of the frame trap. You don't have to do anything. You can just do two L, two L. You can pause for a second. You see they do the backflip. You have not committed to any button, which means you can do the initial OS I showed you before and how to deal with the backflip. So it's all kind of a mind game on how to deal with it, but when it comes to a regular wake up, you can always deal with it. Now let's talk about this kind of annoying move, the 236L. We've talked about the 236M, that that's very punishable. The 236H, I haven't really mentioned, you know, that's our combo starter. That's pretty much the exact same thing as our light one, except it's your EX version. It's minus three on block, this one's minus three on block, and it's pretty much a true block string off everything. So since it's a true block string, you're gonna be running in this situation a lot. They're gonna do auto combos and just do this to get some chip, and they're minus three at this point. So you have to decide what's the best way to respond, and to be honest, the best thing you can do is just respond with a low attack every single time. Now, it's important to respond with a low because with you well, Every single one of her special moves, she can cancel into her stance, and her stance parries all high attacks. So UL's are gonna try to do stuff like this. They're gonna do a string, go into this, go into stance, make you think to be scared to push a button because if you press any kind of high attack like a Jita 2M, a Jita 5L, whatever like that, you're gonna get parried, and that's gonna let her, you know, try to do her little pressure or whatnot. But you actually don't have to deal with any of that. Like when she does this, she's actually pretty close to you. So no matter how bad your 2U is or your 2L is, it should be able to reach. So whenever you block this move, I would just say without fail every single time, either wake up 2U or wake up 2L. Cause there's nothing she can do to beat that. She tries to parry you, it's a low, you'll win. She tries to go in the stance and then press a button. Well, she's minus three, you're gonna win. If she does this move and tries to mash buttons right afterwards, if you respond right away with a 2L, then you're gonna win. The only thing a UL player can do after 236L to take back her turn is if she DPs. If she does anything else, she will lose in that situation. And once you're established, you're always gonna press 2L or 2U every single time to force the UL player to block after that. Then that's when you can actually do a little bit riskier things. Like you can run up, grab after it. You can run up and do a close 5L to actually like try to get more pressure going and stuff like that. Now, of course, if you block this and you try to run up and do a close 5L, if the UL player mashes buttons, then of course she's gonna hit you out of it. That's a little mind game that goes on there. But if you wanna keep the safe option, just know you can always press a low attack button and you can always beat out any option you well tries to do. Now let's talk about the by far the most annoying part of this character is her far 5M. Her far 5M is just some ridiculous nonsense. Like, look at this range I'm at. This is pretty far. Both of those hits hit. Like, her range is like kind of ridiculous. This has two hits. That's extremely easy to hit confirm. It's minus five, but look how far you are. It's minus five, and if she wants to, she can just go into this move. And it's actually so far away, like 236L, most of the time of any other normal, it's always a true block string. But if she does it at max range, that actually becomes a frame trap. So it's really freaking amazing. Now, in terms of dealing with this button, most characters don't have the range to really contest her that much. Like usually UL has control of the neutral. Like even against Belial, this has slightly more range than Belial's Far 5H. Now granted with Belial, it's a heavy, so it's better, but still, this is really freaking amazing. And it's a really strong whiff punishing tool. Now the one thing you can do is, if the UL likes to just preemptively do it a lot, if you stick out a heavy, you're gonna completely crush the normal, and then you could punish it. And your other option, you can try to get in their space, back up, and try to make them whiff, then you can whiff punish it. It's like a two hitting move, so it's a little bit easier to whiff punish than other moves. Now the problem with just throwing out heavies, heavies have a lot of recovery, and this move is already godlike at whiff punishing, so that is pretty risky to do if your opponent's pretty good at whiff punishing, but it is an option you have. And in terms of backing up, backing up, yeah, that's good. You can back up to get out of the range, but then they can just walk forward and walk it down to the corner, and that's the exact opposite of what you actually want. So versus UL, there's really two spots you wanna be at. 
you either want to be in their face pressuring them or you want to be outside their far five m range just throwing projectiles and just trying to keep them out you don't want to be in that little sweet spot of the far five m because that's her zone that's like her battleground you press a button you can very easily whiff and just get completely stuffed so that's where you want to be in terms of neutral because the options of dealing with the move itself is kind of iffy because just throwing out a heavy is never good and trying to make it whiff does involve you backing up and that's not always the best option. Now in terms of blocking the far 5H, that's when it gets pretty annoying because there's a lot of little mind games to go along. Now like I mentioned before, if she does it at max range, 236L, that's a frame trap. Now granted, since it's a frame trap, yes you can DP it, but you're not going to react with, to this with a DP, that's just not going to happen. And just doing a DP isn't the best thing. Now this by itself, it is minus 5. And you see if you space it really well, it's pretty good distance, but most 2Ms or far 5Ms or far 5Hs or whatever, it'll be able to reach her from that range. Problem is, so you can cancel this into stance, you try any of those options, you're going to get punished, and she can make herself be outside of the range of any 2L and most 2Us. Because versus you well, in most cases, if you can, you want to respond the low attack. But if she spaces herself so good, your 2U will just whiff and um, she's a great whiff punisher, so she'll whiff punish you and kill you. So it puts you at a kind of messed up predicament where you have to kind of guess what she's going to do. Because sometimes you well just do far 5M, another far 5M, if you press a button of course you completely stuff them from doing that. And you wells can sometimes do this too, they can do far 5M into the plus frames, the medium version. And it's kind of hard to deal with all those options. There's not like one particular OS that can stop it. Now, if she does far 5M pretty close to you, you can pretty confidently just always do 2L or 2U every single time because she's not really gonna get any kind of real frame trap. Because like I mentioned, this, you know, that's not a real frame trap. You can just mash out of that. So if they do far 5L relatively close, you can just press 2L or 2U every single time and you can beat all her options. It just becomes very annoying when she does it far away and that's honestly, it's a guess at that point. So I'll just give you the little mind game of what you can do. You can do a fuzzy far 5M or a fuzzy 2M. Why do you want to do it fuzzy? You don't want to press it right away because at max ranges, that becomes a frame trap. You just slightly delay the button so if they do go for this, you'll be able to block it. Now what is that beat? That beats you well trying to do any like kind of thick stuff like two far five M's back to back, you will hit her out of it. It'll stop her from going into stance and immediately doing something like this or whatever, it will beat that. But it will lose if she just goes for a parry, then you're gonna get parried. Now if you think she's gonna go for far five M in the parry, then you have a couple options you can do. You can either just back up to get out of the range of it, or you can actually run up and hit her with a 2L or 2U because you make the read that they're gonna try to parry something. If they're trying to parry something, they're gonna sit there just for just enough time for you to be able to run up and do a 2L or 2U. Now, of course, if they decide to do far 5M and to another far 5M right away, you try running up, you're just gonna get hit and you're gonna die. So it's a lot of little guessing going on. The safest option is to try to back up out of the range of another far 5M. But overall, when you come to this situation, you do kind of have to guess. There's no one option that beats everything, but of course, you don't have to take any unnecessary risks either. And that covers everything for the most part. Now for just some general tips, Yuel has a pretty nice DP safe string. She can do 2L, 2L, far 5L, and all that is low, a true block string and DP safe. If you try matching DP, all three of them are low, they're true block strings, your DP won't come out and you're gonna get hit and she'll get a full combo. Like most characters can only do 2L, 2L that's DP safe, they can't do a third hit that's also DP safe. Duel is one of those characters that can so just watch out for that. And for that reason they can do 2L, 2L, then they can actually run up and get more pressure, they don't have to worry about as much for DP because they know you're kind of scared to try for a DP because if you try it you're actually not gonna get the DP and get comboed so creates a little mind game, so it's a little bit of a plus for her pressure, so just be aware of that. Now if you see you well doing a backflip, do not jump at her. I never said to jump at her when I dealt with my OS's. You wanna know why? She can just do a backflip, cancel, 2H. It doesn't matter if it's counter hit or not. If you get hit by this 2H, you will get juggled and it's gonna hurt. So I wouldn't jump on her when she does a backflip. It won't end well for you. And just in general, jumping at you well, her anti-air is not 100% consistent, but the thing is, if it hits you, it don't matter if it's counter hit or not, 
she is gonna get a full combo because she does something like this. She anti-airs using the EX Fox Flame and EX moves put you in a juggle state. So when you get hit by that 2H, doesn't matter if it's counter hit or not, you're gonna get hit by a full combo in most cases. So jumping at her, not the best option. I mean, sometimes okay, because your anti-air is kind of not the best. They really have to be on point, but if you're finding someone that's on point, don't jump on her. Even an empty jump is not safe. And I would say into the best of your ability, just don't be in far 5H range. Like at the max distance here, that's just not a good situation to be in. Like you really have to kind of guess on what to do next because she has so many different options. Even though it's minus five, it's not that bad. She spaced so well. I would just say if you're fighting you well, you either want to be in her face pressuring her or be outside that far 5H range just so you can throw fireballs, zone her out and stuff like that. I think that's the best place in the screen to be because from here, like at least for Jita, like how am I really gonna contest her? My far 5M completely whiffs, but hers will completely hit me. I can stick out a far 5H, but I can very easily get whiff punished. And from this range, I can't throw fireballs. I can get completely stuffed by the far 5H. So that's not the spot I actually wanna be in. Now, if you play Belial, I mean, you have the same button that's a heavy, so you're, you're good if you're Belial. But if you're anyone else, just try to stay out of those ranges. Either be in or out. So yeah guys, that's about it for you. Well, I hope that helped. She's kind of annoying to deal with, but I hope all this makes it a little bit easier. So that's gonna be it for the video today. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Twitch, join my tournament, and I'll see you guys next time.